Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. This time I'm going to show you how to get through the Ihen Ah Shrine, which is called Midair Perch. Upon entering this shrine, you will notice these peculiar green platforms, and it took me a second to figure out, but the way these work is that when they are active, they will float in midair. So you want to pick this one up, raise it up a little bit, this way you can climb onto it, and then you want to make a bridge out of the other floating tiles, and then you'll be able to get to the next section. This is sort of training you for what's to come uh, for the grander adventure here in Zora's Domain. So make sure you get very comfortable with these platforms and this mechanic, because it's going to come in handy quite a bit. All right, once you have the bridge made, you can head on over to the other side. And then from here, we're basically going to do the same thing, but we're going to learn that we can attach other objects to these floating green tiles, and then we can use those to make suspended bridges using this bridge against the wall. So this gap is just too large for this bridge alone. And so what we need to do is we need to attach it to the tile. This way we are able to uh, sort of jump up a little bit and then we can just sort of glide over to the other end. Yeah, it's just too small, but that's okay. So we can attach to the tile and then I'm going to attempt to hit the tile itself. Uh, at this stage of the game, I still didn't have it in my head that you could just hit any part of the object and the Zonai device that it's attached to will activate. So hopefully you uh, stop seeing that in my tutorials soon enough because I finally have it in my head. All right, once you get to the other side, you want to take the bridge that you just made and then you want to bring it over to the next gap, but you want to tilt it upwards on a 45 degree angle. This way you can climb it and then jump over to the other side to complete the gap. Once you're over here, you want to take the bridge with you again. This part is technically optional. You can do this in a different way, but to me, it's just easier. You want to take this bridge and start looking for the chest. I'm going to tell you right now, it is not on this platform, but from this platform, you're going to be able to see it. And then we're going to bring the bridge over to the other side. So the chest is in that alcove right there. And inside of that chest is a few arrows, which to me are always extremely valuable in both Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. So. I'm never disappointed to find arrows in these chests, although Zonai weapons are a bit nicer. All right, so you want to climb up, climb up here, get the chest, and then what we're going to do is we're going to start using the switch that is on this platform, and we're going to send Zonai platforms across the gap. So we have a switch in this corner right here, and when we hit it, it's going to shoot this uh, hammer or plunger out of the wall. And then it's going to throw the Zonai device across the gap. So you want to take an orb and attach it to the Zonai platform. And then you want to put that in front of the hammer and shoot it across the gap. Now, the way I'm going to solve the final part of this is I guess I was just so emotionally attached to the bridge I made that I decided to uh, use it again. But what you can really do is just uh, stand on one of these Zonai platforms after you send the orb out or even stand on the one that you just made for the orb and then uh, shoot the switch with an arrow and then you can get shot across. Otherwise, you can just do what I'm about to do and just use the bridge to get across and then use the other floating Zonai platforms to do so. So if you want to go with that route, I recommend just putting these Zonai platforms uh, in the air in this general vicinity. This way you can reach them once it's time. And then we are going to, once again, use the bridge I made to cross the gap. That's it. All right, I'll let the rest of this play out, but all you want to do is just take the orb and place it in the bowl at the end. So once you get across, just detach it from the Zonai platform and throw it in there, and then you're done. All right, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're looking for more guides for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new guides go live. If you're interested in supporting the channel monetarily, you can do so by becoming a channel member by clicking the blue join button below this video. You can also leave a super thanks by clicking the heart icon below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and join my Discord. The links for those are in the description below. As always, I'll speak Johnny Cage. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.